Hey gents, welcome to Friendship Shaving. You've just caught me at the end of my shave today. I've been using the uh, Samoog 830 Ball Bristle Brush. Really nice brush. And I thought I'd share a tip just before I finish today that really helped me when I started shaving with a double edged safety razor. And the razor I'm using today is a Makua 33C, which is a great razor for a beginner. Very inexpensive. I'll do a proper review at another time. But look out for this razor, it's great. So the tip I've got is about how to find the angle. When I first started with a double-edged safety razor, I held the razor at this sort of angle because that was the angle I held my cartridge razor at. Of course with a cartridge the head was variable so you really didn't have to worry about the angle of the handle or the angle of the blade but it matters in one of these and this tip helped me a lot. So hold the apex of the head to your face, the handle horizontal in this case and just move the handle down until the razor blade touches the skin and then with no pressure you're shaving. This technique equalises all the razors to a large extent whether you've got a mild razor or an aggressive razor. This takes the guesswork out because wherever you are on your face, say you're here, but just move the handle until the razor blade touches the skin. And with no pressure you're away. And it works anywhere on your face, on your neck. Same again. The tip of the apex on the cap till the blade touches the skin. and you're away. Now the secret of this is not to move your hand but rather, and I'll do it here on my neck, there we are, so I've got the, uh, the, blade, the razor in place, I'm moving the handle now till the blade touches the skin there and I'm going to keep this arm as much as I can locked in position. Now I am moving my hand slightly, I can see that because of the slight curve in my neck. But for the most part, this part of your arm stays still. And after you've been doing it a while, you'll just pick it up and do it without thinking about it. But what's great about this is that when you pick up a razor that you've not used before then you've got a good starting point whether you don't know if it's an aggressive razor or not you've got a good way to take the guesswork out And there we are, all done. So I really hope that helped. It helped me a lot, actually. It uh, really helped me make a transition from sometimes having a sore neck, particularly, to having much, much easier, nicer shaves. So that's it, we're done. Apart from to say, look out for the videos over Christmas and New Year because I have got some special razors coming up that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. So I hope, I hope you'll join me for those. Uh, in the meantime, take care of yourselves, have a good holiday, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.